Okay, sorry about that. So, a brush mix. Let me see. Oh, I'm looking for my paint over there because I moved it. Camel. I don't think I have out camel, so I'm going to put out some camel and white. So here's camel and a brush mix. I'm going to go into my water, blot, camel, put it down, white, put it down. So I've mixed it there. It's very wet. You see how wet that is? I want a little more white. I want it brighter. And I'm going to blot. And I'm oh, first I'm, I'm going to rinse my brush and blot. And I'm just going to pick it up. And I'm going to float it. But she wants us to stipple it. But I'm going to float it first. And I'm just going to go along the top. So I'm sticking my the edge of my brush kind of there and then I'm swiveling out and pulling it along and then I'll pivot back in. It's wet right now but I mean it's not dark dark. I think I'd like to lighten it up a tiny. So again, a brush mix. I'm going to do the top I'm going to do the top of this. I'm going to do the top of my mittens. So I'm just I could do it both. I could just No, I like to put them down separately. So I put the color down on my palette blend it out a little. I have a total boogie. Rinse my brush. Take some white. So that's a good amount of white because I want to make a nice mix here that I can use a couple times. And water. OMG. That is not good. <laughs> There's way too much water. Okay, so blot. Now watch what I'm going to do. Because the color's there. I'm going to start at this side and push up into it. So I kind of picked up the water. Now I have a decent float, but I still don't, I want it brighter. I'm going to add more white. I think I still want it brighter. It's hard to, I don't know, I just, I want it brighter. That's just me. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on the tops of the mittens. It doesn't really look white anymore, does it? It just looks like a and I should have rinsed my brush and just and reloaded it, but I think it's good. I'm going to rinse now and just go right back to that paint that I just loaded or I just mixed right there on my palette and just take it and put it up here. And then, see there's so much here. Because I had, I had my, I hadn't, uh, I think when I'm teaching you guys, I get um, hasty. Like I'm not as careful as I would be if I was so zoned in and focused. But it looks good. Like I definitely can see a tinge of brightness up there. It's a little wet, so it's shining. I'm going to do the top of his hat again. I just I'm tempted to just go straight white. All right, I put both colors on the brush this time. And now I'm just going to brush blend it and... I think that was the easier way to go. Um, again, I'm just going to go I want it brighter up there. I can't help it. I think that brightened it up. This is so wet right here. Look at that. It's like a puddle. But let me do this. His little um, so I'm going to just go ahead and grab the paint. So I have two big, look at all that paint. Wait, where are we? I mean, that's a lot of paint. But I'm going to put it down, and I'm just going to brush mix it on my brush. I'm going to rinse my brush, though, because it's way too gloppy. Then I'll just pick up from this runway. Again, I'm going to push, start down here and push up into it because I don't want the, this side of my brush to get any paint on it. So let's see what this does now. I might have to go, I might have to find a stipple brush somewhere. It's very subtle, but I can see it. Um, let me see if I have a stipple brush. Um, 
I do. I need I need my big stipple brush. So I'm gonna see. This is my little stipple brush. And these are specific stipple brushes. I don't know. You know what? Let's look at the um the her supply list and see what kind of stipple brush she likes. Because that's what um I like about different artists prefer different tools, you know. Um, I don't, I think this must be my biggest one. All right, so let me grab the um, supplies. Okay, so for brushes she has angle, liner, script liner, round, stipple brush. It just says stipple brush. It doesn't specifically say what kind, so that was no help, <laughs> but that's okay. I have my specific kind. So let me show you a little bit about stippling. Um, I have a deer foot. I think I might use my deer foot. This is actually a scumbler. It's for dry brushing, so I'm not going to show you that. And then I have this one. This is called, this definitely says stippler. All right, and I'll show you the difference. Oh, my back is starting to hurt. Um, Here's the, the thing you want to do. I'm going to get a piece of dry paper towel. And I don't want it to be... Basically, you want the bristles to make little dots all over your piece. So I'm just going to go right into this. I'm going to go... I went straight into that color. And I'm going to put it down like this. And then I'm going to wipe a little bit off. And let's see if that helps. See how it looks more furry? And it depends. If I push hard, I can get a much different look. So you have to stay just on the tips of the bristles. And I think that's the look that she's looking for. She wants it to look furry, right? So that's one way. This is kind of my favorite. I've had good luck with this one because because I'm a heavy hand, I've tended to pounce and you don't want to pounce. You just want to use the very tips and reload. Now this is a deer foot and I like the deer foot I'm, and I haven't gone into water with this either but I'm going to load the just the tips of this because this is a good one for making bushes. So you go And you can kind of get a bushy look. And because it's a, got a round, it literally looks like a little hoof, a little deer foot. See how that's shaped? So you just, you use all the bristles, but you kind of just push those tips. You just want to load the tips. So I really don't have any paint back here. I mean, I don't know. I'm not an expert stippler for sure. Haven't done it very much. I've just dibbled and dabbled and played around a little bit. All right, so for this, I kind of, I could do fur. I like the fur like this, too. I feels like I have a little more control. I don't know. I'm going to try this one again. Now that it's wet, it may give me trouble because, well, not necessarily, just got to dry it because it just makes it mushier dry I'll show you oh my gosh I don't know sometimes it's hard to describe what I'm trying to say so I just I got it pretty dry and I'm gonna load it just fully so I just go straight into the paint but it's just on the tips I haven't loaded it all up in here it's just on the tips pounce it a little bit and I'm just gonna gently try to get this to look like fur See, I have, to, I have to take some paint off because I'm a heavy hand. I like this better. I'm going to use this one. Um, so, rinse it off. But anywho, those are my samples of stippling. And then these are dry brush for dry brushing. So, I'll do that in a different video because I, these videos are long enough. Oh man, I have water everywhere got my directions all wet um, all right so I'm now I'm gonna stipple up here and I'm gonna do a brush mix again we're gonna do camel and white 
Is this camel? Let me make sure. No, that's honey brown. Oopsie, that was almost way too dark. I gotta plug my camera in too because um, I will be talking and it won't be filming me. Okie dokie. Let me go up too because I want you to see. So I have camel. And titanium wet. But this is the one that I couldn't get it out, so I will go with this one. Or maybe this is the one. I don't I don't remember. Well this one's emptier too. Okay. So where's Mr. Here we go. All right, I'm going to try and get it dry, and I'm not mashing it. I'm kind of grabbing and pulling because you, you still need it to be straight and just looking like that. I like that. All right, so I'm going to go into the tan and, and kind of pounce. I'm going to go into the white and pounce. And now I'm going to brush it off. I have way too much paint on there. And I'm going to look at the picture. Alright, so she just really keeps it on the very front. And I'm just going to go back into that color that I just mixed. And just try and hopefully I'm in the shot. And this, it's okay if I go up on the red. But if I hate it, I'm taking it off. It's my prerogative. I don't hate it, though. Kind of like it. Does it look furry? It's very subtle. That's very subtle for me. I want to go a little brighter. So I just added a little white to my brush and stumpled it on there, stimpled it. All right, and now I'm just going to go. Uh-oh. And you know what I'm saying in my head is gentle, gentle. Be gentle, Sarah. Oh my God, it's addictive. You could just put too much. See, she just kept it subtle. Oh, I like it. I have to put a little bit on his mittens. I'm stopping. I'm going to stop because I don't want to... I don't even know if I was in the shot, you guys. Sorry. But I like it. I feel like I got a good enough effect. I went a little high on the red. What you going to do? All right, so let's go here. Am I in the shot? Yes. And it'll get mushy if you, if you, I don't know. I kind of, I'm not an expert at stippling, that's for sure. I tend to think the brush can get, oh dear. But I like it dark, see? Like, I like it like that. Oh, Lord. I don't know. I think it looks good. Do you think it looks good? I think it looks good. Because guess what? It's going to be a big, whole, big thing. This is not the whole... I'm putting it on a little little thumbs too. That's good. All right, it can get away from you. You can just get crazy stippling. And I got to go up because I will come out of the shot. OMG. This gets me excited though. Okay. So I think that's it. Oh, see, she went much, much more on here.
Oh boy. I'm really trying to be loose and I'm getting a little crazy. I kind of like it. I just scrubbed it over there to get a little dryer. But you don't want, basically you don't want little spots of white. So I like that better. That looks good. Is this hat good? Because if, if I'm putting the berries on and stuff, you got to be done this step if you're moving on to other things. So you got to make sure you like it. I think I do. I think I want to be done. I want to see if this um, tracing lines will come off his nose. Oops, I definitely put a mark though. Come on, man. And I don't think I highlighted down this side of his little nose either. Uh, remember, it told me I was supposed to do that. So let's do it. Just gently. I was also going to show you how I could clean my mop brush because it's looking rough. All right, I think we're done that. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Down here. I'm going to use the deer foot. I'm going to use the deer foot for this one just to show you the difference. So I'm going to double load it so I'm just going into the and then I'm going to go into the white What's it called? Brush mix, not double load. And then I'll show you the difference. I think I can cover a lot more area. I like that. Maybe I have to hit the, the hat with this a little. See, I'll get crazy. Crazy, I tell ya. You know, you'll get it just so. Just like with art journaling or anything else. And then you'll be like, oh, why did I do that? I want to do a little bit on top. Because this is kind of at the base. This is part of the stand. So what the heck, I like that, it looks fuzzy, a little fuzzy, okay, so I can put that away, that's done, and I think I'm going to leave it, I think it looks very good, fuzzy enough, and the mittens are crazy fuzzy, alright, so now where was I, hair and mustache, I think I'm, I'm done, Ooh, we no, I didn't paint the stray hairs yet. Ooh, I got to do that. And then I'm supposed to stencil random size stars on the hat and the coat. And I did, you know what, I almost, because I ordered Mrs. Claus last night too. And I almost ordered the stencil with the ho, ho, ho and the stars on it and the holly. But I didn't order it because I figured I could wing it and... Well, anywho, let's see. Deep in the shading with burnt sienna, I didn't do that either. So base the cuff of the hat. All right, I'm going to go away, and I'm going to finish a few things. Um, actually, I'm going to let you go, because I don't know. I just feel like these videos are so long. And I'll come back when it's something a little more, something I haven't taught you before, okay? So the stippling was new. Um, but for right now, I think we're, actually the little hairs are going to be new. 
All right, I'll keep going until we get to the hairs and then I'm done. All right, so I have to deepen the shading with Burnt Sienna. Um, okay, and then Brush Mix Camel Shoot. I was supposed to do the, the stippling after I did um, the darkening with Burnt Sienna, so yeah, yeah, you gotta follow directions, Sarah. This is just on the hat, so I'm going to get a little, just a little, I don't want it to be too dark, and I'm going to darken here. Hey Jen, Jenny's down here now, and I don't even know if you can tell, but it's subtle. And right here, playing, and underneath here, Bird Sienna is one of my favorite colors. I don't know why, but like of browns. I mean, you know, brown is brown. It's not a gorgeous color necessarily, but burnt sienna is so pretty. It has, it's like a reddish brown. I just love it. I do. It makes me happy. And then I got to do the little glovey part right here. The thummy john. Oopsie. That was a little quay quay. I just need to see. I'm, I'm rushy too. I'm getting a little rushy. I think I just get excited. Because I'm only on one cup of coffee. I'm going to have another cup of coffee though. Um, oh. And I'm going to go along the top too. I'm going to do it. I don't know, it might, I'm going to try and keep it a little bit of a shallow one, not as, because um, I like my stipply. I don't want to go over my stipply and just eradicate what I did. Alright, so let's go up here, because then we're going to put the little, his little hairs, oh, and it's going to be so cute. I'm going to use the rigger for that. I think it's good. It might be too dark now because I'm such a heavy hand. I like it. Um, let me move my stipples. I probably should do a little, you know what I'm going to do? Just a little bit in the darkest areas of the, like, so right here. Oh my gosh, why are my dogs upset? And right here. And right here, like under his arm. And in the berries a little bit, because, and that's it. Good enough. N oh, sugar. That I w oh, no. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Watch, I'm going to try and take it off. Because I'm, I'm on the cuffs, not on the beard. So in other words, I just put the wrong color on there. All right, I'm leaving it. Okay. Sorry. Uh, shade down the left. Paint the stray hair with that sticks out from under the cuff with titanium white. So I am going to actually, let's look at the tracing real quick to get, oh, perfect. Look at this. See, so she has these little hairs, these little stray hairs. So I'm going to get my... I'm going to use the rigger for this, and it's kind of like a liner brush, but I think it just holds, it has a little bit more girth in the, the width of the bristles so that it holds more water, which I love. And I'm going to get my white, my titanium white, into a, a little puddle over here. So I just picked that up. That's a little bit wetter, so I just let the water from the brush mix with that paint and I don't want that camel in it necessarily 
and I'm going to put those stray hairs on. So exciting because he's going to look cute. So I am going to put one, two, three, four. And look, you could do it any way you want. They're just, and mine are kind of thick, which I don't love, but that's my style. That's going to be, you know, what mine look like. Yours might be super thin and wispy. And you know, it is what it is. He's cute. Cause see, it's cause how I'm loading my brush. I need to get that little, um, but I'm gonna put one here. I don't know why I have to say it like that. And that's it. I think that might be it. Oh, he's adorable, right? Why is this one over here? I don't know. I'll do one over here too. Because they're just, because that's part of his beard. Just do one over here too. Okay. It looks more even -y. All right, and he needs his eyebrows. Why isn't she telling us that? I want to put them on because you look, you know how it, I, I have to put eyebrows on now. My eyebrows are, I'm going to push this. No, I'm leaving it right there. Um, but let's see, hair, mustache, and beard. Yeah, she doesn't have the eyebrows going on right here. So we're going to have to do it. You know, sometimes they, the girls leave it off, and it's not a big deal. I'm going to use my littler brush, though. I need more control for the eyebrows. Oh, boy, this is exciting. But here's what I do. I will literally take this tracing and put it right here. And then, because I could trace on each hair, but I don't want to. But I like the shape of hers, so I'm going to kind of eyeball it and just start making little hair. So they kind of go down and turn. And they stop about halfway. Now, you know what you need to do is make the other one the same shape and size, or else it's going to look kind of weird. And I want them a little darker because they got washed out a little bit. Um, so I'm going to try. And now <laughs> this is the tricky part. And I'm, I do everything better to one side as well. So you just, you know, I could always take it off. But I'm going to go kind of right up from there and kind of make it go that way. And then just start pulling some hairs. How's that look? Does he look? Well, he's upside down. Let's turn him around and see. Oh, he looks pretty cute. But for me, it's much easier to do it um, pulling toward me. But let's now I can darken him up a little. Am I in the shot? I hope I'm in the shot. OMG, that looks cute. He needs these little... Let's look at the picture because I think he has these little... She did little white eyelashy looking things there too. And I mean, I could do them black, but I'm going to do them white. I think they would look cute in black too. What else? Um, he's got a couple little dots on his nose. I don't know if my eyebrows are dark enough. Her hairs are definitely thick and dark on the picture. So I'm going to just darken this up a little. I'm going to try and go right over. But just with more solid paint because I have it nice and washy and I want it more solid. Yeah, I have to put my eyebrows on. I have, well, my hair is probably gray now. It is gray because um, I get it colored. But my brows are so fair. Well, they're probably gray too, right? So I just use, um, it's more of like a stick. 
it's like a stick and I just kind of draw the end line I draw this part over here because I have no hair over there and then this part's still kind of thick but I think I want to do this in black this is my preference I'm taking the white off and I'm going to do it in black I'm just where I erase those okay but look he, he's a little bit more human looking he's gonna look even cuter when we um put those berries up there but is that enough hair he's cute right all right <sighs> I don't know I feel I feel good I feel good about him let me come up all right you guys I am going to what else do I have to do? I gotta put the stars on. I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if I have a star stencil. All right, so I just finished most of the, um, I did his eyes. Yeah, I couldn't, could not get those little black lashes to go right. Um, but did most of the gingy, and I'm just making his little bow. And I'm gonna try it with the rigger first, and I've got my paint nice and inky. And I'm just going to start like over here is my center, say. Like I'm going to make it like off center because he's kind of turned like he's looking up. And I'm just going to make a one loop, two loops. So this is just the easiest way I've found. And I'm just going to do it again because she's got two on there. So one, two. And just kind of connect them. And then I'm going to turn my piece because it's just much, much easier for me. And do the, try and do the same thing. One, two. And I'm trying to keep them even, but I could have traced it. You can trace it, so don't, you don't have to do it my way. But I just like to wing it sometimes. I like to. And then they don't look totally even, but then the little... Um, like I'll take my, I don't know why I got a little unruly at the end here. I don't like that. Um, but I'm going to make little, oh, and it actually connects around his neck too. So I should have probably done that first, but it's tied around his neck. And he's got little, um, the end bits and that kind of just goes down from here out to here so I'm just gonna go and let it you know fizzle out and one kind of comes down his belly a little so over to here and I like picked up and pushed down so that it kind of got big little big little um, what else I think that might have a little um it says, paint the ribbon around the neck deep midnight blue. Well, that wasn't deep midnight blue. Paint the loops with Williamsburg blue. So the ribbon around the neck is supposed to be deep midnight blue. Dot the center, not with deep midnight blue. So if we look at it, let's see the difference. Yeah, you can definitely see the, the difference. The string around the neck is definitely darker. Oh, well, I mucked up but I think it looks good. I'm gonna just grab some Deep Midnight. Where is it? Deep Midnight. I, I don't have very much of it. Wait. Yes, I do. But this is, this is old. I might just throw it out if it doesn't come out of the bottle right now. Oh, I'm throwing it out. It's pretty empty. I don't like to waste paint, guys, but ugh. I have a perfectly good bottle right here. I'm going to just put a little... I'm going to kind of just try to fudge it in here. So I'm going to make this center dot right here. And I'm going to just go over this a little. I think that did the trick. You can't really see it. I'll come in. Good enough, right? 
Um, I've done projects where you've like had to highlight and shade the whole ribbon and everything. So he's pretty much done. Let's see. Paint the loops and dot the center. Okay, the sign. Base coat the sign and shade around the edges with deep midnight blue. That's why I got that deep midnight blue out. I'm just going to go around the edges of the sign. Now here's another thing I noticed. This hasn't been shaded at all. Like usually you would shade under the beard for sure. But because she's, ugh, I'm sorry. Doggone it. Under here. But because we're going to stencil on some stars, which I did find my star stencil, and I'll do that in a second, I just wanted to get that done because you'd seen me do all that stuff. I just shaded and, you know, anywho. So let's now, I'm going to, I want to grab my big, I'm going to grab my big angle brush because I'm going to do all four sides. I'm pretty sure it says shade the sign, shade around the sign. So let's look at the picture. Yeah, it looks like this, the sign is shaded on all four sides with deep midnight blue. Actually, I'm going to go off camera and do it because you don't need to see me do that. And I think I should have done that before I put the stippling on here because I'm probably going to go over some of it. But he's looking pretty done. I need to add the holly and the berries on his hat and add some stars, which I'm debating because it doesn't have to have the stars, but they're going to be on the legs. See, so I think it'll tie in. They're on the jacket. I'm definitely going to put them on the jacket, so I should probably add them. Yeah, I think I am. All right, but I'll be right back. I just wanted to show you that, and see you in a minute. Okay, listen, guys, I pretty much finished them. I just figured I wanted to get to the point where uh, I want to put them together. Um, but I did. I finished them. I added the berries at the top. I just free handed them in. I didn't, um, you know, I just drew, painted in some berries. Let's see. I'll go in. Let's see. I'm just going to do a quick once over. What else did I do? Um, no, just did the holly. Uh, that's about it there. Um, you saw me do the gingerbread. I did the holly and the berries here. Super easy. Um, I just shaded and highlighted with black plum and the um, hot shots, and then shaded and highlighted the the leaves and put some vines and a little bit of a squiggle. I haven't. I did shade all around the sign. I want to add the stars. The last thing I'm going to do before I go is add the stars because the um, I also finished this. So this is done. This is the wood. Well, you can't see because now I'm zoomed in. This is the piece that Joe cut for me. So I did a coat. I sealed it and coated it with green. And then I went over it with red. So that's ready to go. So I'm going to take that in the kitchen and do it because I need a bigger space. And then I'm going to lay it all out and um, put it together. So I'll do that in a separate video. But I just want to show you the buttons. So all I've done is base these buttons with camel and now I'm going to shade them with burnt sienna so I'm going to take and she just has you shading the outside edge but I think I want to do a little something fancy well it's not that fancy but so just giving a little shading to the outer rim of it right but I want to do this, and I don't know if I really need to do that if I want to do this, because I think I want to make it have a little, I don't know what you would call it, but a, like a little middle. So basically, I just shade around this part. And it looks like it has like a little section in the middle. That kind of looks cute, but I don't know. It might not need it. So let me just finish adding a little color to the edge. Because all she has you doing is this. And then she's going to put the stitching line in the middle. Which I think is probably plenty. Like that's kind of cute. I don't know. I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to put the outside as well. And see if it looks better that way. But I'm just going to do it. See, I think this pattern, for the most part, she just kept it real simple, guys. And hopefully, I mean, the thing is, it's 
it's bigger so you're gonna see your floats a lot more and so it may be um, harder for you because it's bigger but I feel like she kept it simple it, it's super cute let me see what this looks like if I go um, around the outside too I hope I don't pull off what I put down already but and then there's a little um, camel which I don't have any camel out I'm just going to make it real um, thin and make a little thread line because the thread lines we did on the his shirt so then we're just going to go across like this so you can't even see it let's see if it's definitely camel I'm going to read the directions it says uh, I gotta find it where was it shade around the sides of the buttons and paint the thread lines with buttermilk oh gosh not not camel buttermilk that's why it's not showing up um here's buttermilk sorry about that and I know I've taken a lot of time so um those of you who are decorative painters leave comments in the description box if you have a question and I'll definitely get back to you because um, you know and you're only you're gonna learn by doing so you have to do it um, and you'll get better and better the more you practice so what do you think should I do it like that or just keep it like this I think keep it simple I think keep it simple so I'll do I'll redo this one but then basically I can't show you him in here because I don't have enough space on my table but he's done so I'm gonna come back in the final video and I'm gonna put them all together I'm sorry I'm so excited I ordered mrs. Claus last night so I'm gonna have mr. and mrs. I'm gonna find a welcome oh you know what I was gonna do was the stencil so let's see I am going to add a few stars with black plum so let's see it says um, stencil random size stars on the hat and coat with a mix of black plum and a little bit of country red so I have black plum and I need a little bit of country red so I'm going to use this stencil brush, but I feel like I want to just use um, a sponge because I don't, I'm not really good at stenciling and I just feel like I, I haven't done it enough to really feel confident and I just want to use plain old, I don't know, I'm nervous. So I'm going to brush mix, oh my plum is dried up. I think I need more plum. I'm sorry, I'm not ready. Um, and I have a couple different sizes on this um, stencil, so I'm happy about that. But I do think I want to find uh, welcome. I don't want to have it I, because he's going to be at our front door. I hope this works all right I'm gonna put one right I think I want it to be like right here all you have to do is make sure that so that looks cute I'm gonna get it off here before it dries and then I'm gonna put a little one right here Kind of hanging off the bottom that looks cute I'm glad I did it I'm gonna put one on at the top of his hat like sticking out I think I'll do the bigger one like kind of sticking out right here oh, right there And I'm just going to take off right here on the fur. 
I love it. I'm so glad I did that. That looks so cute. It's a little dark, but I like it. Here's what it looks like on hers. I'm happy. Okay. She has one right here, too. I'm going to put a t one of the little ones over there. So I'm going to put this little one sticking out right here. And then I'm going to put try to put one on his here and here but I'm gonna it'll end up going over because I should have done them before I put the greenery on there so it's gonna end up sticking out but I'll just put right here I think the stencil brush would make it be a lot more crisp but I don't know I'm pretty happy I'm not gonna be all right and then I'm gonna put like a bigger one which one did I put? This one. Right here, kind of sticking up like this. All right, I'm happy. I'm gonna get my Q-tips and take it off the sign. And I can just go over the, um, the green and make it stand out more, but I think that's it. Yay, I like it. So let's see the picture. So see then on the um, the legs, let me show you the front of the legs. Where are they? Uh, I made this a little darker. The front of the, see? There's stars and there's a little bit of um, greenery going along there too. So I'm gonna put some of the greenery going down. I don't know, it looks cute. So I'll get that all done, and then um, I'll show you how we assemble it in the next video. All right, you guys, thanks for being patient. I love him. He's adorable. Thanks for watching.